My name is Ma'am Divyanshu. Okay. Uh, Divyanshu, hi. Uh, I'm Akriti. I would be your tablet trainer. I'm over, uh, I'll just quickly introduce myself. I have eight years of uh, experience uh, in uh, different industry verticals, out of which five years of experience in Tableau. Okay. So I would be your trainer for Tableau and I would take you through basic to the advanced level of Tableau. Okay. Okay. So um, can I uh, know uh, uh, about yourself in a quick like uh, which company you like, what is the business of your company, not exactly the name of the company. What type of business your company is involved in, and uh, okay. what are your expectations for uh, you know which motivated you to join this course? Okay, so ma'am, uh, basically uh, I have a two year of experience in like a business because basically I am working with Hadoop, so basically I have two mm -hmm. year of experience in that domain, big data Hadoop, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the. Uh, my company is basically that uh, like uh, is working over the to big data and uh, that's why I need of to like uh, to design that data and graphical mode so need to be like a uh, table because table is just like a, as I think a BI tool yes yes absolutely so uh, basically I have a knowledge very good knowledge of uh, big data and mm -hmm. that's why I want to do this um, because uh, there is a, a lot lots of data because we are just uh, like uh, to design in a graphical mode and uh, there is also a need in my company to like a BI or like uh, to that to table developer all so that's why. Okay, okay, got it, perfectly fine. Um, few things that I want to know before I start. Do you have uh, uh, have you downloaded Tableau in your system or? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, I'm just uh, using like a Tableau public ten point one. Okay. Okay. Serves for the training. All right. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, ma'am. I can see. Okay. So let's start off. Uh, today okay. is day one, so probably we'll have a two-hour session. So okay. you can take down notes if you want, and uh, in, in uh, not in the initial stages, but in the due course of time, I would be mailing you some workbooks which can be as your handy notes from my side, and it has a self-explanatory workbook. It is a self-explanatory workbook with a question and the approach that you need to follow to build up a particular visualization. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. But that will only happen towards the end of the session, uh, towards the end of the, you know, in the advanced level of Tableau. Okay? okay. Uh, by the time before that, uh, the way we even take off this training will be, I'll, uh, sh uh, you know, first give you the introduction of the various topics that are there, and then we'll have a hands-on session. Okay? Okay. okay. So uh, I'll uh, give you the question, wait for five minutes so that you can build it on your version of Tableau and then I'll, uh, maybe you can share the screen or uh, I, I'll show you a slide which has the answer. If it is okay. same, we can move forward. If, if there's some doubt, you can uh, uh, ask me to make you the presenter and you can share the screen with me and I can see it accordingly. That way okay. you went. Okay. 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 And uh, for the materials as of in the initial stages, if you want to write down something and you want me to wait on a particular slide, do let me know. Okay. 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 So I'll start with Tableau introduction. Okay. Okay. Now, why did the need of Tableau or uh, data visualization exactly come into picture? You know, uh, in the initial stages, somewhere in 90s or before this uh, big data thing came into the market, there was a huge uh, number of, uh, you know, everything was happening on data. And there was a huge inflow of the data and the analysis of those data was becoming uh, very tough to analyze those data. Then the, the need of analyzing the data faster came into picture. 
You know what? Uh, previously, what happened is most of the software companies and most of the firm companies followed a method, a waterfall method, in which they had a whole hierarchy of people, starting from the manager to the developer. Okay. okay. So the business used to sit on the top. So the managers had the whole knowledge of the business and the requirement of the company, and then the work used to flow from different. Uh, people and hierarchy of people like your project manager, PA manager uh, and team leads to the final developers. Now okay. these developers who were actually developing the business didn't have any idea about the actual requirement of the business. And the business didn't have any idea of the, uh, the actual development that was happening. So there was a huge miscommunication and a huge gap between the flow. Okay. And when the development took place, after that the development flew up to the um, uh, business and then they used to sit and analyze whether the work that is done is proper or not. Okay. Okay. So now if the work was proper, they used to move on the second stage of the business. But if the work was not proper, they used to lose a lot of money and time in that development. So then agile method came into the market, the software industry. You you familiar with the agile method? Uh, sorry. You have you have you have any idea about agile method of management? No ma'am, no. I have no idea. Have you heard about Scrum? Scrum development, these Scrum certification is hot cake in the market these days, right? In this, you know what happens is uh, it's like uh, have you ever seen a football match? Yes, ma'am. You know, they all they all come together. They decide the way they are going to achieve their next goal, and then they finally go for it. They plan and they go for it. You know, so so that that's what is happening nowadays in companies. Uh, depending upon the norms of the company, every morning or on every Friday, they they decide the next target for the next week, and then they go for the development. So they decide and then they go for the development. Then they see uh, at which stage their development has actually uh, uh, progressed to. And then again they analyze that and then again they go for development. So the analysis on their development goes hand in hand nowadays. Right? Okay. That is the reason they want a faster analysis. Yes. And this is because the whole concept of Tableau or your uh, View, Microsoft, all these uh, business intelligence tools came into the need, right? Yes. So, like, like the the slide that you can see is that in 2020, the world's uh, data is expected to increase to 45 gigabyte. Now, that's that's really huge, right? And yes. Tableau is helping people to see the data that are huge and unparalleled. And it helps in uh, people to analyze their data faster, so that they can come to the uh, the crux of the data or what exactly the data is speaking. They can come and analyze that data faster, and then they can extract the core from that data. Right. So an introduction of Tableau software. Uh, Tableau is it is the software. Uh, and it is an American company. It has an American uh, headquarter in Seattle, USA. And there are five products of Tableau. Okay. okay. So there are five different products of Tableau. We'll deal with them each individually. Okay. So this is what is your uh, gigabyte that I was talking about. You know, one million terabyte is equal to one gigabyte. And like uh, with the graph below, you can see that how it has increased and how it will go on increasing. So there's going to be a huge, uh, you know, flow of data by 2020. Now, when you have data, you need to analyze them faster. Otherwise, just keeping the data will serve no purpose, right? So this is where Tableau will help us. Okay. Now, what is Tableau? Tableau is a business intelligence software that allows anyone to easily connect to data then visualize and create interactive shareable dashboards. So the biggest advantage of Tableau is connected to big data. Now since you come 
coming from a big data background, you know that uh, that timing or no complex uh, coding that is required to connect to your live data sources. And, okay. uh, and uh, you know, uh, the biggest advantage of Tableau is the moment Tableau connects to any live data source, Tableau forms a temporary file on its database. Okay. okay. And then the entire visualization that you do happens on that temporary file, that temporary table. It doesn't happen on your live database. Okay. So the, the, uh, uh, the merit is that if you are making any alterations to the data from the Tableau front, stays in the Tableau front. Your live database is come by that. No, because I, uh, there's, uh, when I'm working for one of the industry, I remember once one of my colleagues had done something wrong with the, the uh, database and the entire mm -hmm. column from the database had gone deleted. <laughs> so it was a big issue, you know, he had almost accosted in his job. So yes, that was, we remember, but but this is good part in Tableau that it, it uh, you know, it creates a temporary file on which you can work and even if you are cre uh, deleting or uh, uh, preventing your uh, fields, it is happening on that temporary file. So that, uh, change, that change not hamper to your live data source, even if you are connected to Tableau live. Okay. So that, that, that thing is always so, all, all there. Yes. So it's a basic, uh, basically it's a advantage of the table that uh, yes. your live data may not be ample. It, it will not hamper, yes. That's the biggest advantage of Tableau. And plus that the second is the connectivity. The connectivity is so easy. Like if I show you quickly, this my Tableau, okay. See, this is Tableau. This is the license version that I'm showing you. I'll come to that. So each list of connectivity. These are the connectivity options that Tableau offers. We'll deal with this individually. I'm just showing you right now. So from files that are stored in your Excel, uh, CSV, access all these files to the servers, and the server has again a huge list. If anything is missing over here, you have an option of ODBC, where you can go and you can find the driver if, if it is not connected to a particular server. You have a driver for the server. You download the driver and it connects. Okay. So it's that easy. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the second point, it is easy enough even for non-technical user, uh, technical users to uh, learn it, but powerful enough to satisfy even the most complex analytical problems. Now, uh, why do I uh, say that is there was one conference that I was attending once for Tableau. You know, I met the, uh, the marketing executive there. He said that when Tableau was launched, uh, the Tableau has this line of Tableau helps people see and understand data. Okay. So, this in that process initial uh, uh, state of data is the most important region for Tableau because it's working around Tableau and it is to simplify uh, the data and it will have uh, giving a graphical interface the complex data is the most important region. Then he said that moving with his job, he said that uh, no, data is not important. I think understand is the most important feature of Tableau because it is helping you to understand the data. Yes. Exactly. And then he said that finally, his perception was, and even the Tableau's uh, insight is, it doesn't stand for data, it doesn't stand for understanding or anything, it's, it stands for people. So the whole concept of Tableau is that they want it to be so easy. That even the non technical background, and how do I deal with Tableau? Because Tableau deals with big data and all those things. I personally say, after being into you know four or five years spending whole time with Tableau, 
I say that if you know Tableau well, if you know your data mapping in Tableau, you don't need to be a coder. You uh, need to know anything from the coding side or you don't need to be a coder. It's just that so there I think are few there is, things. Uh, there is no need to be a, like a, you are from back technical background or you are from technical background. There is no need, I think. No need, no need, no need. Okay. I have, you know, trained people who were entirely from non-technical backgrounds and are doing very good. They have been placed here in Gurgaon uh, in companies and they are doing good from past six, seven months of their career. So, you know, after this, they, they don't face any issue in whatever uh, uh, this is there. And anyways, in companies, when you start a project, they spend so much time in just data mapping, right, yes. and knowing your data. So, after once you, you are done with data mapping, nothing stops you in Tableau being no matter which background you come from. Okay. Alright. Should move on. Securely sharing your findings with others only takes seconds. Like this is again a very good advantage of Tableau that you can easily share your uh, creations. Now you can share it to Tableau Reader, you can upload it on Tableau Server, uh, or else you can even send your entire workbook, your Tableau workbook as an attachment on your mail. Yeah. So it's not as complex to share it also. It just goes as, a, as an attachment also. So Tableau is a software that you trust to actually deliver answers to the people that need them. So once you uh, move ahead with Tableau, you'll see how easy it is to you know, uh, do some some complex, uh, find out some uh, complex crux, like you have a whole list of customer name and then the, the company, the manager all of a sudden decides that the customer name should be followed by their initials. Okay. The first, the initial to add just the initials with the customer name, like they have the first name and the last name, right? So you just take the, like you have Abraham Johns. So Abraham Johns is a one name. So you take uh, the initial as AJ, right? Now that's the norm of the company. They want an in initial. So it's so easy in Tableau. You just have few tricks, so few workarounds that you do, and you can easily add add anything that you want. You can uh, you you have a whole list of order date, and you can easily take out the difference between the first order and the second order. No complex calculations, nothing. So it is actually very easy, right? Okay, so what exactly is visual analytics? Now we have been talking about Tableau and we have been saying that Tableau helps you to, you know, uh, give a graphical interface uh, interface to your data. It helps you to, uh, the Tableau helps you to uh, give a graphical uh, representation or diagrams to your data to understand that. So what exactly it is? Uh, um, there's uh, this Andy uh, Crick who has uh, said that visual analytics is a representation and presentation of the data that exploits our visual perception abilities in order to amplify cognitions. That is, it helps us to amplify our understanding. Okay, so what exactly it is? Now, I have just shared this slide with you. Can you just tell me how many lines are here? It's going to take some time, right? Not that easy, right? Twenty. Twenty? Twenty. Twenty? Now if I ask you how many nine is there then? Ten. Nine, uh, roughly nine, nine, uh, exactly nine. Okay, so, but it was easy, you know, to find it out easy here rather than here, right? So, if I highlight few things, it becomes really easy. Yes. Now, uh, it's same as if I ask you to mentally calculate this number, it will be little, it will take you uh, some time to do it. I'll, maybe I'll not say it uh, is tough, but you will take some time to do it. But if I, uh, you know, tell you that use a pen and paper, now you can see this graph. So a, a mental maths person is taking uh, 60 seconds to do it, whereas with 
pencil and paper, you just take 10 seconds to do it. So when you have things in written, it becomes faster, right? Yes, exactly. In the same way, if I if I just you know show this table uh, to you, and I say that which are uh, uh, the uh, subcategories that are in loss, you can easily tell me, right? That bookcases is loss, tables is a loss, and suppliers is a loss, right? Because these all are highlighted in red. So with highlightings and enhancement of your data, it was it would be a little difficult if all these numbers were in black, right? And I would have asked you to analyze. It would have been a little difficult. But with the highlights, it has become easy. So this is how Tableau is going to help us. It is going to highlight our complex data so that it becomes easy for us to analyze it faster. Now when you sit on a meeting and you analyze this, say for instance this is a profit uh, uh, sheet for your company and you want to analyze on the subcategory that you're doing bad so you with this you just you don't spend much time in uh, finding out that tables is really doing bad and then you can find out the history of table where all do you sell table who are the people who are involved in selling which are the regions that sell table what is the price of table that you are selling on and then the analysis becomes faster Right? right and if if the same thing that the uh, the same graph the same numbers if i give you in graph it is further more becomes easy right the supplies tables in all the departments is doing bad bookcases just doing bad in this department whereas rest is fine So this is the visual analytics or the scrum uh, thing that I was talking about. You have a task, you get a data, find a structure and you view the data. Then you develop and then you act accordingly. So this is how the whole thing follows. This is the way nowadays the company is operating. You get a task, you then you get a data, then you find a structure on which that data is uh, uh, should be set or the data mapping that I call, right? After that data mapping, you exactly see the way you want to see the data, then you develop it, and then you act accordingly. Okay. So visual best practices is representing data for humans. It should have color, it should have a proper map, and finally it should be presentable. <coughs> I'm so sorry. And finally, it should be presented in a fresh form. Okay. So basically, the whole concept is it doesn't mean that only you prepare it on worksheet, 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 and then finally present your report. It is not going to serve any purpose. You finally, uh, the whole, you will only get an advantage standing apart from others is that whatever visualization you have prepared, you know finally how to arrange it in a particular dashboard and then present it. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, like uh, Tableau is uh, is quite rich in all the online stuff that uh, you know online materials. It has it tells you how the ways to create a visualization and add uh, calculated field and all those things. But finally, how do you present it? That is the dashboard topic is quite missing, which is a very important thing in your Tableau, right? Even if you have to go for just a small presentation, I personally advise uh, advise all my uh, trainees to finally prepare a small dashboard and present the entire uh, your analysis on the dashboard rather than skipping from worksheet to worksheet. Okay, and the USP of my uh, training is are basically two. One is I give you umpty number of chart types. I'll teach you okay. so many types of chart types and finally I'll teach you almost five different types of dashboards which you can okay. present according to your need. So it may it will not just be about arranging your visualization in the dashboard. There are five different types of dashboard which from time to time you can use in your live uh, database. Right. 